Notability 9.4, what's new? Let's see what Notability has added to the app in this update. My favorite improvement in this update is the mouse pointer for iPad OS. Why did they have to do this after we just reviewed the application a few weeks back? If you've not seen the full review of Notability 2020, I will have a link to it in the description down below. The mouse pointer now supports different tools on the toolbar. It will make demos in the application easier to follow. So when I'm talking about an eraser, you can see the eraser is my pointer. The iPad OS application is starting to have features that you see on their Mac version of the application. I'm hoping that more applications will start supporting this so that it's much easier for you guys to understand and to follow what we are doing on the screen. The mouse pointer is responding much better in the application. We are always curious to know which update excited you the most, so do let us know. Your audio timeline now shows the different audio recordings you have in your notes using these stems to indicate when a different recording started. And these stems show you how long each recording is. They have improved the tool to give you more control over your recordings. You can rename your audio recordings if you want to organize them. You can split the audio and cut out sections you don't need. You then get split one and split two. You can play back the audio in this window to see which sections you want to exclude. Naturally, you need to be able to listen to it for you to be able to edit it. The application then indicates the two splits, which you can merge. You can merge all your audio files in order. You can reorder your recordings, simply drag and reposition. You can now add colors to your sticky notes and text boxes. Before you could only change the page template, but now you can add colors, which are the same colors you have for your pen tool, meaning you can add your own custom colors to your sticky notes and your text boxes. This is probably Notability's first step into having proper text boxes. For a long time now, they've had text boxes, but we had to use the paper templates in the application. But if we can add our own colors to it, then that effectively makes and text boxes. Overly very excited about this update. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you guys think about Notability 9.4. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.